This is how, how did somebody drive like this? She presents you with an opportunity to learn. Once again, paradise by the dashboard lights here. Look at that. Why are these all the way back? Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike. We are back at my favorite place on earth. This is the Copart facility in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I want to say a big thank you to everybody for letting me come out and take a look at these cars. A little bit of everything in the lot for you to today. Oh, okay, well, let's, let's cut to the chase. This first car, you got to see it to believe it. She doesn't look like much, but she is so popular. Yes, this is a BMW 325e from, I want to say 87 or something. Let's look real quick. 86 BMW back when they built cars that were almost like tanks all right they kind of sounded like Mercedes when you shut the door how do I know well I had a convertible and it was literally one of the most popular vehicles I have ever owned and when I sold it I had 30 or 40 messages on Facebook marketplace everybody wanted to get in on that car so let's check out this one and see what she offers well she offers a terrible paint job that's it okay you're gonna to have to get her painted. It's gray over tan. And back in the day, it was a beautiful color combination. It really was. Okay, she's kind of dried out. This, you'll need a tail light. Nice little trunk spoiler right there. Tires are holding air. I like the little wheels. I really do. Let's see if there's anything in the trunk. Here it is. Oh, well, <laughs> she presents you with an opportunity to learn. And you even have, oh, is this an owner's manual? You get, here you go, service booklet. Well, this was a head gasket, I, I guarantee you. I guarantee you that's what they were doing. Look at all this stuff. Here's your distributor cap. All kinds of Bosch parts, your alternator, your Bosch computer, oh. She is, is there even an engine under there? Your air filter, instrument cluster, your battery's in the back, back here. Water pump, intake, exhaust. Wow, that was a surprise. I was not anticipating that. This needs to be reattached, okay? The wheels are okay. They're much better on the other side. This, this side must have been pointing at the sun. We have a lot of rust right here, so this, well, she still has an interior and she's a manual and the seats are in good condition. What? What? Okay. Well, there's your instrument cluster. This is in good shape in here. You will need a cover for your dash. Those always, 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 if they've been in the sun, they get brittle and they crack. I'm sorry about that. But, and you'll need to get a new little handle. I had to replace those, easy to replace. Oh, we even have an added temperature sensor right there. Look at this. This is actually in really good shape. Okay. Um, there you go. 140,000 miles on this odometer. I don't know what the other one in the trunk said. Okay, I love this. This is your little warning system. You have all of your lights, brake light, rear light, license plate light, low beam, washer fluid, and you press this and they all kind of light up. Ha! This is cool. Let's see what lies beneath the hood. Okay, so someone's taking the radio. That's no biggie. You're going to replace that anyway. But this, this is huge. Really, this, I don't know how much this is going to go for, but BMW folks love these cars. They really, really do. Let's see what's going to happen. Here it is. Well, hold on now. Your grounding strap right there is unattached. I thought this was gonna be in pieces. No, this is good. Camshaft belt replaced at, I did that for mine, okay? Absolutely replaced the timing belt. It's not difficult. It's a little scary when you first start it, but you can do it. Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay. Well, I would, I would probably wrap those in something. 
But look, this engine, I guarantee you it would start. I guarantee you it would. Really, wow. You wanna try? Let's just see what happens. Well, somebody was working on her. Look, I, is this a 10? It's a little 10 millimeter tool sitting right there. So the battery in the back was disconnected. Let's just kind of see what's gonna happen here, okay? Um, somebody took off the negative. So someone tried to, here we go. Is anything gonna work? Oh my goodness. It's, here we go. Come on, baby. She's out of gas. She is out of gas, but she cranks. Oh man, I wanted her to start. Yeah, she is completely out of gas. But listen to the engine. That sounds good. Okay, well, do I want another BMW restoration project? Heck yeah. Would this be a cool car? Heck yeah. Is the engine gonna work? Heck yeah. Okay, so we're gonna have to write this down. Please don't bid against me because this would be so much fun. It really would. And I'm already one step ahead with my 10, my 10 mil. <laughs> well, we've hit truck town. That's what I call this part of the yard. This is where you're gonna find lots of the great big trucks. Longhorn Ram 3500 biohazard with a very nice interior. That's gorgeous. This was a very expensive truck before all the mayhem happened right there. You've got semis back here, box trucks back here, and GMC 2500s back here with big old freaking tires. LT 285, 75, 16s. Look at the meat on this. Woo! This is a, what is this, a 99 GMC Suburban gigantic vehicle that would tow <laughs> my house if I needed to drag my house somewhere. I even got the hitch on it. Look at that. Okay. Well, that's cool. Let's just put my bag down right here. Put my soda pop right there. And let's check her out. Let's see what uh, GMC offered in their 2500 back 24 years ago. This is a big old girl. Oh, well, somebody liked to lean back, lean back. You got huge seats. Look at this. That's your third row plus stuff in the back. You could put a whole bunch of, you could, oh my goodness. It's like a school bus. This is huge. This would pull, what does this say? 500 pound tongue weight, 5,000 pound trailer load max. I thought it would be higher than that. I thought it would be higher. You get a spare tire. Actually, the inside's in good condition. The whole thing is not bad at all. Spicy sin. Um, it would clean up. I mean, there's some scratches. It's just been off-roading. Okay, we got the front window that's not going up all the way. You'll need paint maybe on the front. This is a big girl. Yeah, and even the tow hooks on the front. This is gigantic. And the front seat is dirty. But, ugh. oh my. There's, there, there is a smell. You can, look at these little bitty keys. There is a smell up here. And there's no power. Yeah, she tried, but there's just no, no, we can't even, 182,000 miles. Man, this is a big old, this, this is, okay, my head, this is what, this is my view. Yeah, this is how, how did somebody drive like this? I don't even know. Maybe they weren't driving, maybe they were, I don't know. Paradise by the dashboard lights, you know what I'm saying? Okay, this is. Well, you get headlights. You get a new switch for your two high, four high, four low, four by four neutral. And you make about three cents. Okay, 
This is really gross. There's your cup holders. Oh my. Okay, this is, yeah, this is a mess. What's under the hood? We can't start it. Oh, I don't even think we can open it, can we? Did it open? Uh, maybe it did. I don't know. Yeah, sure she did. Where's the latch, buddy? Maybe she didn't. Here it is. Yep, she did. Okay. Ha! Ah, there you go. It's another one of them Vortec engines. Um, and I don't know which one it is. Okay. Well, we do have a new alternator. We have a new belt. Air conditioning compressor looks okay. She would run and drive in a heartbeat. But someone has added some things onto here. That's, that's interesting. Okay. Woo! Look at this. This is a beast of a car. This is almost too much for me. But it would take you boondogging. Absolutely. Okay, well, if you are interested in a gigantic GMC 2500, this could be for you. If not, we'll keep looking. How about a good looking Dodge Ram, or just a Ram, I'm sorry, a Ram 2500 heavy duty 6.4 Hemi in it that is missing the tires. I think someone may have took the tires. What year is this? 2017, this is a big, big, big work truck. There is some damage right up here. Tow hooks again. I don't see any other damage though. Look at that. Woo! Even back over here, so you can see what's in the cab. You got some floorboards in the cab. 4x4 off-road edition. Oh, I like this. This is nice. How would, how would they deliver this though, if you ordered it? Well, Randy, once again, paradise by the dashboard lights here. Look at that. Why are these all the way back? Um, Randy from Auto Auction Rebuilds bought a truck without tires and somehow they delivered it to him. He found it on his uh, front yard sitting there without tires. Ah! Okay, this is not, oh, fire. We've had a fire. Um, and there's no key. There's no key. Doggone it. This was a nice, this, I mean, the fire is not gonna damage anything other than the interior. Get a seat and a door handle. And what caught fire anyway? What's back there? Okay, you might want to get yourself a headliner and a sun visor. This could probably clean up. This doesn't worry me at all. I've had vehicles that were burned. I had a Saab way back in the day from Lexington, Kentucky. I bought it when I lived in Lexington. Oh, we got some damage down here too. Let's check it out. Let's just kind of see what's going on. Parking brake. Hood. Yeah, I had a Saab and it had a fire in the back seat. I just replaced the back seat. Kind of smelled funky. That was before you could do that ozone machine and get rid of them, get rid of the smell. But yeah, this is, Oh, so maybe, maybe the fan or something, your blower fan is like up under here, maybe like most cars and it just, it overheated and, and started a little fire. I don't know if that's typical for these. I would think not, I would hope not, but this is a nice truck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. 6.4 Hemi. Hemity, 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 Hemity. I wish I had a key because I give, could give her a start. A nice interstate battery. Yeah, but this is going to be expensive still. More than my little budget was left over from my little Barbie SUV. Um, so we're going to keep, we'll keep looking. All right. Yep, there you go. Ram 2500. Has a little burning issue. So what do you think? You like the big old trucks or you like the classic cars? 
I kind of like them both. But I like all cars and all trucks. Anyway, let me know what you think about these little walk around videos. Do you like the ones that I showed you today? Do you not? Put it in the comments. I will take a look at it. I read almost each and every comment and I'll give it a heart. And if it's something funny or something I need to respond to, I will. All right. A big thanks to everybody at Copart here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We'll see you again soon. And what else can I say? God is good. Skies are clear. Temperature is coming down and I still have most of my hair. Yep, these things are good.